In this video, I'll show you how to spook your location on iPhone. If you are using iOS 18 or iOS 26, this method works. We are going to be using the local change to spoof location on your iPhone. Now, this doesn't mean the application does not work on Android. In fact, you can also install the local change Android app if you own an Android phone. Spoofing your location on local change shows your new location even on Google Map apple map or any map application you use i know there are certain games that require location to get the best experience like pokemon go like are you dying to catch that rare pokemon in tokyo us or even in australia are you trying to watch a geo blood content on netflix prime video or hello i have been there firstly Let's talk about how to get the local change app. It works by connecting your iPhone to your computer, either your Windows or Mac, injecting a virtual location directly into your device GPS signal. Downloading this software is free and available on the local change website. So coming to the website for the first time, this is what you are going to see. You're going to see this. So you're going to see um, option to download it on Windows, Mac, iOS app or Android. So you have to make sure you use the Windows or Mac here. You can download it directly to your iOS um, phone or your Android phone. So you have to make use of the Windows version, the um, Windows or the Mac iOS assistance, which is which is going to be installed on your um on your desktop all right so as you can see right here i have it installed here right so i'm going to leave a link to this particular page so you can go ahead and download the ios assistant on your um device all right because it's not available on the official website here it's available on the separate guide for ios which is you can access from the top here and you go to ios guide ios um, app us user guide and it's going to bring you to this page where you can go ahead and install for your device so me i'm using a, i'm using a windows right now so once you have it installed this is how the ios assistance is going to look like it's going to ask you to sign in your apple id you have to log in your um you have to sign in your apple id basically once you sign in your apple id make sure you connect your usb cable to your phone mine i've done that already and once you've done that it's going to basically install the app from the ios assistant directly into your phone so as you can see mine is installed on my phone after that it's going to ask you to enable um I tr to trust the app on your phone so to do that to do that you go to general on your settings then you scroll down to where you have vpn and device then you click on your name then you click on trust then it's going to trust the device so after that you'll be able to use the application so as you can see right here the application is installed on my phone but before you use the application it's going to tell you to download the particular application called so you have to go to your app store and download a particular application called iGo Speed. So right, so I will go ahead and download iGo Speed right now. So as you can see right here, this is iGo Speed. So I'm going to download iGo Speed. It's very important for you to download iGo Speed. All right. So as you can see, I've successfully downloaded the iGo Speed on my iPhone. So I'm going to click on Open right now. I have to open the app. Open the app is just going to ask me to accept. I'm going to click on Continue. Then allow once. Now it's showing me my location. So you go to speed test. Then from speed test, you have to test your network. So you can see right here, you click on test now. Then it's going to test now. It's testing. So now you click on accelerate. Then click on add VPN configuration. Click on allow. Now it's going to ask you for your passcode. Now after that, it's going to say turn on the VPN. You click on turn on VPN. Then click on start. Then now it's going to start. Now acceleration successful. You click on OK. Then it's going to ask you. I go speed is going to ask you that they want to open local change. You click on local open local change, and as you can see, it's opening local change app on my iPhone. So the next thing you want to do is to click on agree. Then once you agree, you're going to see two options, which is game mode and mode universal. Game mode is for is useful for gamers so if you are gaming and you want to change your location you can use the game mode maybe you are playing a pokemon go and you want to go and find the rare pokemon in a different location you can use the game mode but if you are trying to change your location maybe using social media application or you want to watch netflix you can actually use the mode universal then once once you click that it's going to ask you allow so i click on allow so basically what it's doing is it's looking for my location so now it's as it goes to my location so on the and on, on the address section here you're going to impute an address that you want so i'm going to put in i'll just put in london 
Then I click on search. Then I click on London. Let's click on London. Then it's going to take teleport me to London. Now you have different options. You have teleport mode. You have jump teleport mode. You have navigation mode. So the teleport mode is just going to take you from wherever you are right now to the particular location you searched. Then the jump teleport mode is is going to is going to is going to keep on jumping from one location to another location. So you can set three different locations and it's just going to keep on jumping from those from one location to another location to another location. So it's going to just going to keep on jumping your um your device to a different location. Then we have navigation mode. Navigation mode is more of like you, you more of like let's say you're actually using Google Map to direct yourself to go to a particular location. So navigation mode works like that. So you're going to set a path where the navigation where, where you want the navigation to follow and it's just the 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 GPS will just keep on following that location. It's just keep on showing that location. And if you go ahead and check your um, Google map, you're going to see it that way. For, for me, I'm just going to click on teleport mode. I don't want to do so much. So I'll just click on move to move now. Then you can see it's going to ask you for trial and buy. So you can either upgrade. For me, I'll just click on trial for now. Then as you can see, mode successful. Then I'll click on OK. Then it's going to take me to that location. So as you can see right now, I'm already in London. As you can see, I'm in London. So I'll open my, I'll open my Google Map so I can actually show you. So as you can see, I'm on Google Map right now. As you can see, Google Map is showing me I'm in London right now. It's showing me I'm in London right now. So if I click on last area, you can see it's going to show me areas in London. As you can see, areas in London. So I can keep on doing that. All right, I can keep on doing that. So you can see it's going to show you locations it's going to show you, you see it's going to show you stuff nearby based on the location you are currently in so as you can see it so you can see right here guys you can see it i'm already in a, i'm in a different location right now using the local change app and it works guys i hope you found the video really helpful and if you did kindly subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video thanks for watching and bye for now